Uh, oh, hello there. I'm a generic halfling, and this is my lawyer. Yeah, hi. I was gifted this ring by my uncle, who got it from gentlebands.com. It's called the Lord, and it's made of durable tungsten and 18 karat gold with runic etchings. My uncle says that this ring has a dark magic in it. Uh, nope, the rings are not magic, and they especially don't have dark magic in them. Okay, fine. But either way, I cannot tend to my garden or go on adventures with the fellowship- With your friends. But they're not all my friends. The elf never even speaks to me. Call them friends, not the other thing, please. <sighs> fine. I cannot garden or go on adventures with my friends, with this ring getting in the way of my hard-working hands. And that's why Gentleband has a new line of chains. The chain allows you to keep your rings near you without them getting in the way. Now I can keep all of my uncle's love and care around my neck without any of the worry. Oh my god, camera off! Camera off! Go to gentlebands.com or use the link down below and use code MATTHEWMC for 25% off of your order. Anakin! Yes, master? Last time we were together, I left to go find Padme's assassin. I mean, that guy. At least we don't have to worry about him anymore. And he was the template for a clone army being made for the Republic. Well, an entire army would be nice. <laughs> we are a little outnumbered, Master. Thing is, it was being done on a planet that was deleted from the Jedi archives. Huh. Really? That means it had to have been an inside job. And whoever ordered the clones didn't want us to find out about it. Probably had to have been a former Jedi if they deleted it from the archives. I would suspect Dooku. I think you're right, Master. It's sounding a little fishy. A Dooku told me that the Republic was under the control of a Dark Lord of the Sith. Perhaps someone who recently rose into power. Well, Palpatine did just replace Chancellor Valorum. And he has been weirdly friendly since I got here. Well, it's possible that Palpatine manufactured the crisis at Naboo so that Chancellor Valorum would be voted out and he could seize power. Think you might be onto something. But what if Palpatine manufactured this whole war and made an army for both sides so that he could gain even more power? Perhaps in a way that's irreversible. Well, he did try to have a Naboo senator killed, either to garner more sympathy and gain more power, or because he feared Padme might find out. But what really worries me is there would have to be some contingency for once this war's over to quickly dispatch of the Jedi. <laughs> really, how do you figure? And what better way than an army of clones of a Mandalorian Jedi killer? You think they'd turn on us? I think we should get rid of the clone army right away. And arrest Chancellor Palpatine. We'll have to let the council know, Master. Does anybody have a comm link? Can we get a comm link? <sighs> Master Yoda. Come in, Master Yoda. What is it, Obi-Wan? Have all Jedi evacuate the transports and have them crash into the balcony up there. Do whatever you say, I will, Obi-Wan. Very good, Master Yoda, very good. Good thing you figured this out, Obi-Wan. Could you imagine if you hadn't? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like or comment down below and subscribe while you're down there. And I'll see you in the next video.